PrimeGuy98 again, bringing you another LEGO review. Today we're going to take a look at LEGO Transformers Cybertronians Wheeljack. So here we have my interpretation on what Wheeljack would look like on the planet Cybertron itself. Simply this flying space-time UFO type of car. And I can clearly see this, I can clearly imagine seeing this floating around on Cybertron at supersonic speeds, carrying down, um, well, carrying down, uh, carrying, uh, energon cubes, that's the word I was looking for, so yeah, oh, my desk is a bit filthy, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there we have Wheeljack in his Cybertronian alt mode, now, this wasn't supposed to be Cybertron in, uh, I mean, Wheeljack in the first place. It was a completely different figure, but I thought, you know, the transformation looks similar like Wheeljack, so I changed the arms a bit right here, and it was all good. Now, I uh, gave it some custom stickers, as you can see, with some uh, sticker paper, so you can, like, just easily peel it off. So I made some stickers here, here, and on the side you can see like my own version of those Cybertronian markings. The same, they're, they're like based on the markings that the um, Seeds War for Cybertron figures has, like, and they actually mean something, but in this version mine is just a couple of blocks. And it resembles the 5, the 3, and the 9, so 539 of course, so it translates to... This also shows that it's Cybertronian and not Earth-like. So anyway, uh, let's take a closer look at the vehicle mode. You can see like the um, cockpit going on here, which is a nice transclearant um, piece. Got like the stripe going on all the way to the back. Um, the bottom, you can see I'd use different colors of hinges simply because I didn't have any proper colored hinges because I'm running out of bricks even though I brought my Lego from home and I'm still using the Lego from the place I live. I still don't have enough, and it sucks, but still, um, I was able to move forward a bit more. So uh, yeah, so here we have Wheeljack. So yeah, without further ado, let's get down to transformation, shall we? And by the way, if you want to get a tutorial on this guy, put a message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it, and I'm, I would gladly do a tutorial, it might just take a little while before I do. Anyway, let's get down to transformation, shall we? So, getting Wheeljack in his robot mode. We're gonna start off with the arms and simply, well, not removing them, but you wanna like hold it on this brick and like wiggle it loose and it should slide on this bar piece out. Oh, pop it off again if you want to, <laughs> but you wanna like Get it out like so. Now you can do with this piece whatever you want. You can rotate it. I mostly like to leave it like that. Or just bend the elbow a bit and bend this piece a bit. So it's, well, it's kind of like a loose panel or something. I don't know. Anyway, I like to leave it like that. Just the way it is. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And... It's almost impossible to do this without popping off the arm. And I popped it off again. Yeah. But once you get it out of this peg, it like slides out really well. It's just the trouble of getting it out of there. But there you have the arms. And you can probably see where this is going. Now it looks more like a robot and not like a weird car. So that's that's like the, um, the thing uh, that makes the difference a bit more. Now we're gonna work on the legs, which is pretty simple. You get like this thing, this foot piece on like stud friction. So you wanna rotate it on stud friction, creating those little V's. You wanna get the legs down. You wanna, just like my, um, what was it? My, um, uh, my Skyfire or Jetfire figure. It had the same thing where you just bend it at the at, on stud friction on the leg bits to extend them, which I think is really good. I'm gonna split the legs even farther, 
creating a distinct gap of being two legs. You can like, you know what I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it that far, just a slight thing to distinct them. That's better. Uh, and now we can like bend this thing down, same on the other side to create it more of a dynamic shoulder bits. They're not black. I noticed that the shoulders were white, but I don't mind that much. It looks good that way. Then we're gonna work on the headpiece or at least the backpack. So we're gonna like bring this out and then we're gonna rotate it, I believe. Oh, and then, no way. And we're gonna feed this piece through like so. And we're gonna, no way. No, we're gonna feed it through like this. Create this on the back, put this down and put this up like that, creating a neat little backpack thing right there. And now you should have your Cybertronian Come on, stand up you. Stand up you little buddy. Come on. And there we have Wheeljack. So here we have Wheeljack in his... Oh, hold on. I left the window open. Now my windows is closed, we can continue. So here we have Wheeljack in his robot mode. Looking pretty cool in my opinion. He is like very weirdly shaped and he reminds me of... Um, the Fall of Cybertron, War for Cybertron, like, design aesthetic is what I went for, I believe. I just noticed that it looks similar to that, like the over-the-top spiky and um, overall weird science fiction design, which I think turned out great. He, he doesn't have a shoulder cannon. I might be able to make one that just simply is capable of put it on here and, like, sticks over, well, the other side, but... You get, you get the point. Now, I love the leg design. The leg design is pretty good. You have like those weird, like blue uh, transclamer bits to show that it's actually like, that's where the power ignites from and it goes back and juts out through the back and like, but in robot mode, it, 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 it almost looks like wheels, but they're not wheels, you know? Uh, but yeah, there we have Wheeljack. And he is actually one of my favorite characters. I was never, although I was never able to make him from Lego, I finally did, and I'm happy because of it. Now, taking a look at the details, we can see he has those distinct ear bits where he talks from, which is pretty cool. He doesn't have a great uh, faceplate because um, I wanted to distinct it from the ears and the head, so the head just stays black. I don't mind that much. You get the legs, you get the arms, you get the 539 Cybertronian. The backpack is a bit of a mess, but it's fine, I guess. He doesn't have those wing pieces coming from the back, but that's fine. Uh, anyway, yeah. This is Wheeljack. And I'm Prime Guy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.